Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a long time, two weeks. We've been real busy with our with our birds here and with my with some bees that we have. And <clears throat> I got a little sick for about a week, so now we're back. Uh, here I am back again to talk about my chickens. How to add outside blood. I wanted to talk about that. Uh, how and I also want to add this to the topic how and why uh, first the how how do you add outside blood to it well you keep your bloodlines pure here I have a uh, three bloodlines three three strains right I have this here I got the silver bullets back there kind of hot you can tell <laughs> and I have my hatch over here that's a beautiful bird if you don't mind me bragging <laughs> so how do you do it simple you grab a a pullet a hand best hands you can come up with and you mix them with a stag or cock from a different strain or vice versa you grab a stag that you want to well, that you, that you like, that you selected, to a pullet from a different strain. That's just called a hybrid vigor. Or a cross. Hybrid vigor cross. I mean, hybrid vigor. From a cross. You do that because... You want to create a... A performance bird. More flesh, stronger, faster, better, all together, typically. Sometimes it doesn't work. So you gotta try a stag and pullet from the same strain and cross them with a stag and pullet from the different strain that you wanna cross. And there you have it, that's how you add outside blood. Why do you wanna add outside blood? To create a performance bird. That is it. That's the only reason why you do it. In order for you to do that, even in order for the topic to be talked about, you have to have established strains. When you have established strains, you already have your... Then you can talk about out and outside blood. If you don't have an established strain, then there's no point in adding outside blood because everything is outside, it's not control. And I just want to talk about uh, <clears throat> how I add outside blood. I already told you why and I already told you how. That's me, that's how I do it. How I do it is, I have this green-legged chicken, Dog Robinson Hatch. Okay, I keep them pure. I do a lot of inbreeding. Inbreeding, whether it's brother and sister or line breeding or back breeding. Whether you follow the dad's, the dad from the dad side or the mom side, whatever you choose to do, as long as you keep the bloodline from within themselves, and you and they come out very similar, obviously, right? Because you want them to throw off offspring that are similar hence the strain once you do that for certain generations once i do that for certain generations then i could add some uh then i could create a uh, a subline you create a subline from the same individuals but that have different very similar but they lean towards a different characteristic characteristic i don't mean how they look that's uh
that's important but what I mean by that is how they look and how they perform all together not separately you want a production birds that lay a lot of eggs you're looking for those uh, uh, egg production birds that's the characteristic the qualities that you're gonna breed to towers you want heavier birds you want birds that develop faster they grow faster they reach maturity faster you start leaning towards the birds that reach maturity faster how do you do that obviously you get a bird that reaches maturity faster than the other ones a hen and then you get a or a pullet and then you get a stag that reaches maturity faster than the other stags slowly but surely you start <clears throat> you start doing that or you could add outside blood an outside blood that already does that right it depends on your purpose it depends on the purpose that you're looking for what you're looking for what you're trying to do I like subfamilies because you can add outside blood to a particular strain I already told you the why and I already told you the how you can add outside blood to your birds from a subline. I like that because there's more control in there. You know what you're putting in there. You can also do that from an outside source, but there's no telling what they added to it. So you're pretty much, you know, you're pretty much trying to see, unless you know somebody, a friend, you could kind of have an idea that's a good way to do it. You have an idea of what they have and you know what kind of birds they have. And then, <clears throat> but it's always, you know, you could either you do it either way. If you think that that person has something different, that's your choice if you want to add some outside blood from whatever. As long as they're very consistent. I'm not here to tell you what to do, how to do it. I'm just explaining how I do it. Those are all reasons why you add outside blood. And honestly, that, that's that's pretty much it. There's nothing to it. Uh, you don't want to make a gumbo <laughs> in your backyard. You want to keep them pure and then you cross them, hence hybrid vigor. When you start understanding what hybrid vigor is, you start, you pretty much start, uh, you pretty much start understanding <clears throat> well, breeding practices and why certain breeding practices exist and things like that so yeah you can make a subfamily and then add, add outside blood I already told you why and how from this characteristic and that characteristic let's say I got this uh, white birds the silver bullets and then I have them um, I create a straight comb and a pea comb, right? And they have very similar characteristics. But as long as I keep those families separate, subfamily, I have them, you know, this will be the said pea comb is my regular family and straight comb is the subfamily. I keep those uh, strains separate for generations down the road. I go ahead and cross them and I can also activate what's called a cyber vigor. Hybrid bigger will make performance birds, meaning that the birds are going to be, well, not always, but typically, they're going to be better. And that's what your goal is. You know, you get a heavy set bird, you mix them with a lighter, slightly bigger bird, you know. I already told you the why and how. <laughs> that's, how that's how you do it. Different families. If you want to talk about adding outside blood. You have to have an established or established lines. You can't talk about adding outside blood if you don't have an established line. An established strain. Because then you're not adding outside blood. You just, you just have chickens. So... Yes, hybrid vigor is very important. Once you understand what it is, then you're like, oh, okay, good. I know what I got to do.
Keep it simple, keep it straight. Keep them line bred. And then you create some hybrid vigor. Adding outside blood. That's the why. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, maybe it was simple enough. Thanks for watching. You guys have a good one.